You are probably familiar with the feeling of knowing you should get some work done but somehow not being able to. And so you fall around all the way up to the last minute, when stress and pressure force you to finish the job done. Or, in an even worse case scenario, the job never gets done at all. Today EduBirdie prepared 7 steps for you to stop procrastinating. Just start working. One thing you may do is to just force yourself to start and to make the first step. The first step is always the hardest. If you ever had to push your broken down car, you know how it is. Once you get the car moving, it gets much easier. Easy stuff comes first. Do other, easier tasks until your energy levels recover. You can use procrastination as a source of motivation to do important tasks. The only key is that you don't waste time on stupid things, but instead tick off other work that is currently marked as important on your to-do list. Overcome the fear of failure or fear of success. Procrastination can also happen because of fear. The two most common fears connected with procrastination that are potentially holding you back are the fear of failure and the fear of success. Laziness. If you see yourself as a lazy person, the best solution is to change that perception within yourself. Visualize your new identity and try to feel good about yourself. Write down the rewards you'll get if you try harder, you're wise. And make sure you really do reward yourself for small efforts. Try to support your new identity with small productivity actions, where you would normally procrastinate at a small task, do it immediately instead. Make sure you don't have unreasonably big goals and expectations in life. Yes, we all have to dream big. But life has its limitations, and we must make sure we don't get caught in narcissistic grandiosity, driven by completely unrealistic expectations as to how fast we can achieve something. Get healthier. If you don't have high levels of energy, it's very normal to procrastinate. A lack of energy may be caused by overworking, burnout, and temporary exhaustion, but it can be also caused by an unhealthy lifestyle. Don't be perfectionist. Perfectionism leads to procrastination. Since I can't do it perfectly, I don't want to do it at all. But in reality, this is the sort of toxic thinking that may prevent you from achieving anything in life. You now have many tools available that can help you deal with it once and for all. Use code YouTube 10 to get discount for your order with us. Thank you for watching. Like, share and comment what makes you procrastinate.